Hello, my friends. I hope you feel happy. The High Great Ifrit Schneid is a remarkable addition to the Gundam universe, offering enthusiasts and collectors alike a thrilling building and display experience. All fans of Gundam Unicorn will be delighted. After assembling the High Great, now I really want the 1100 scale. P Bandai, I'm coming for ya! But for now, let's take a look at this small guy. I have my copy for unboxing and review thanks to the one of the greatest hobby shop in Europe, Rise of Gunpla. Make a wish and use the promo code Gunpla Network to get 5% discount. Check them as they have a lot of great models that you surely looking for. The Ifrit design is a fusion of sleek aesthetics and aggressive lines mixed with classic Zaku appearance giving it a distinctive and menacing look. The well sculpted body features super panel lines and mechanical details that brings this mobile suit to life. Of course, we do not have any extra crazy details like in real grade or even master grade, so no color separation by parts or thousand panel lines. Its head is adorned with unique seashell appearance while the aggressive aura of the design enhances the overall edgy look. The kit's color separation is solid, but a touch of a custom painting will undoubtedly elevate its visual impact. Especially that we have a bunch of color correcting stickers. But later about them. At first glance, the pinkish cherry color can scare away, but I dig the design. Thanks to orange, gray, and white parts, it's got its unique style as a whole. Putting together the Ifrit Schneid is a relaxing experience for model builders. Bandai's engineering ensures a smooth and enjoyable building process. Experienced builders will find it manageable, while newcomers may encounter a slight learning curve thanks to the complexity of some components with smaller parts, like for example the head. Build took me around 3 hours, so let's say standard for a high grade. Now I need to complain about the stickers. This is a big downside of this kit. They look ugly and experience of putting them on the model is terrible. The waste part itself contains 4 stickers which is ridiculous. On this point I want to just scrap them off, they look ugly. And the same goes on the stickers on his back. Also, we have two, let's say, mixed stickers on his foot and this is also the terrible experience, just look at it. Maybe it's, let's say, my fault, but I think that it's... It's fault of the designer! They should use just simple plastic. It's that simple, plastic parts. Two plastic parts. It's very lazy from Bandai, but we all know very well that high grades are just high grades. Fortunately, this is the only drama here. The FX stickers for Mono Eye and the Bazooka looks good, so no complaints here. Of course, you can spot some nub marks here and there, as usual in smaller Bandai kits. Overall, the color accuracy is very good, so for all anime lovers, this will be a very good choice to grow your Unicorn Models collection. Poseability is one of its standout features. Thanks to its multi jointed limbs and articulated waist section, the Ifrit Knight can strike a wide range of action packed poses. Whether you prefer a dynamic mid-air launch or a grounded combat stance, this mobile suit is more than up to the challenge. The mono I can rotate, allowing for expressive displays with different head angles. All these aggressive stances are possible thanks to joint in the neck. As I mentioned, we can move his mono eye. Double joint in the shoulder with very nice deflection point allowing for wide range of arms movement. Shoulder armor can move thanks to the pack. Full swivel in the upper arm. Single bend in the elbow so not much movement here. Hands can fully rotate. Little to none bend in torso. 
As we all know, the rotation of the body is limited in Zaku-like models, so not much to do here. Skids can move, nice joints in the leg, but they are limited by the skirts. Double bend in the knee, this is very nice. Limited movement range of foot, but still nice in this type of design. We have double joint here. Now prepare for battle, because the Ifrit comes armed to the teeth. This kit includes an impressive array of weapons. We have this giant bazooka, it's simple but looks very good and adds some real firepower to the mobile suit. Thanks to shoulder joints we have plethora of posing options, all of them look beautiful both aerial as well as on the ground. We have this little shield that can be attached to both arms and 14 hit darts that can be stored on the Ifrit plus 2 activated darts that can swing in his hands. This is really nice and I love how it adds aggressiveness to the whole look while on the Ifrit. We have one additional action hand for holding the bazooka and I wish for more. At least one open expressive action hand to add some display capabilities. But in conclusion, the inclusion of these accessories allows for endless customization possibilities, ensures your model can fend off any rival in your Gundam lineup. Especially that the hit darts are very unique weapon. Now let's compare it to other brothers. As you can see, the model presents itself beautifully among other Gunpla kits, so I totally recommend you one. If you are a fan of a 1-100 scale like myself, you should try to find P Bandai Edition. It will surely look awesome on your shelf. For the final words of this review, I can say that considering the quality, detail and poseability, the high-grade Ifrit Schneid offers good value for its price point. The hours of enjoyment spent building and customizing this model make it a wise investment for a Gunpla enthusiast. The Ifrit delivers an outstanding building and display experience. Its unique design, poseability and array of weapons make it a standout addition to any high-grade Gundam collection. Whether you are a seasoned builder or a newcomer to the hobby, this mono eye bad boy will undoubtedly set your enthusiasm ablaze. Go get it and see you next time!